People who don't wear underwear, why? I wear a lot of very tight dresses and I don't like having a VPL so when wearing said dresses I don't wear underwear. I'm female. I am an avid horseback rider, runner, biker, etc. I'm active, work up a sweat multiple time a day, wearing tight pants. I'm married, and also sexually active. All of these things can wreak havoc on my vag. When I was a teenager I got yeast infections from hell. The itch was so bad, it was the worst pain of my life, including shattering my arm. I learned to eat lots of yogurt, yay lactobacilli. But also my doctor suggested trying to wear clothes less tight, and to try no underwear. It's been maybe 10 years since that suggestion and I only wear underwear for special occasions now. In fact it's kind of a joke I use more clothes to turn my husband on because so used to commando me. And the reasons aren't exactly sexy reasons. But I have not had a full blown yeast infection since I started going commando. Note I do wear underwear during my period. But my periods are bad and JM usually less actus the. Beans beans. It comfy. I'm ever wore board shorts. It started in basic training. They take all your shit, including your underwear, and give you green briefs. Well I can't wear briefs. They make my inner thighs chief like a mother. So I went without and it was great. So much more comfortable. I have some athletic boxer briefs I'll occasionally wear at the gym depending on the workout I'm doing. My gym shorts are on the short side and I don't want my balls to hang out when I'm squatting or doing abs or something. Why wear them? Cause I'm free. Ball in. I would be naked 24-7 for half the year if other people weren't so bothered by it. I'm sweaty all day. Men, that shit's nasty. It's like men who shave their underarms for some reason. I don't even remember the reason my armpit was clean shaven. But boy could I not wait for those hairs to grow back. The hairs are there for a reason. Constant sweat running down your torso isn't ideal. Everyday wear without underwear, cringes, that sweat is going to end up somewhere. Because it's more comfortable. I wash my clothes between wears and it's an unnecessary expense. I'm a woman who has done this since high school. Yes, also during my menstrual period. There's no leakage issue that a regular thong could save so what's the point? I like wearing the least amount of clothing. If I do wear them, they're purely for decoration or I'm going to work and the fabric of my pants I wear feels weird. Plus, I work in a really hot and fast paced environment. My cooch likes to breathe. Also I'm a lazy dresser. Freedom and to keep it aired out and dry. Stared out as a fun sexy tease for a male friend, evolved to more than just when I had a skirt or dress on. Now it's like why bother? Less money spent. Even evolved to no bra. Though I miss the cleavage sometimes. I love the feeling when I play my dancing game and my penis flops around like a dead fishing as it smacks against my body. I only go commando if it's after the gym or if I'm going to sleep, and it's because it's so freeing and relieving. I almost always wear unders. My adult son bought me some boxer briefs, he is very stylish, and they are wonderful for winter. This past month has been unusually hot and humid. I suddenly decided to go commando, and it works for me. When it cools off, I will definitely go back to wearing the nut huggers. Because in the summer I develop a habit of just taking of my suit after swim practice and just putting my shorts back on. My boyfriend complains. Free balling with just shorts on a hot day equals, a okay hand. Free them. Pants are already too much clothing. Adding more just seems silly. At this point I've only worn underwear after birthing my child, and it gave me a wicked rash because I wasn't used to it. I've got three more months to go before birthing this child and it's back to undies, I'm dreading it. I've also ditched bras. The looks from strangers at my braless state is always a fun time. Men love it, older women hate it. I don't really give a damn. It's just titties.
Both men and women are grossed out by the hairy pit's toe. The pure confusion of the man admiring the boobs and then seeing the armpit hair and being grossed out is actually hilarious. I have a monster wang and saggy testicles. I'm not bragging just reporting. None clean. Haven't worn them since I was around three years old, so it's partly out of personal tradition. But comfort, mainly. Feels liberating to not have my scrotum squeezed by a piece of fabric. Comfort. Underwear is ungodly uncomfortable. I quit wearing underwear about 20 years ago. I saved a pair just in case I ever felt like I needed them and the very small number of times I ever wore them I absolutely hated every second of it. I finally trashed them. Plus, I'm prone to blackheads and even boils and underwear makes it way worse. So yeah, to hell with undies. Destroys the lines. Because I cleanse myself properly after elimination so there's no worry that I'll soil my pants with my body, and I launder my clothes regularly so there's no chance I'll soil my genitals with my pants, and I find the sensation of them needlessly restrictive. Either they're tight and restraining, or they're loose and end up bunching as I move throughout the day. It feels comfortable. I feel normal. I feel safe. I don't want my husband to waste my time struggling to get my bra off when I want to get banged, so I don't wear a bra. I don't wear underwear when I go to sleep because it's comfortable. I only do this at house. So I don't have to wash them. I only wear panties under my scrubs while at work or if I'm going out. I don't wear them at home and if I'm going out in leggings or yoga pants, I usually don't wear them then either. It's all about comfort at home. I wish I could skip wearing them. But as soon as I get home underwear comes off. I just tried it for the first time yesterday, it's oddly liberating. I don't think I'll do it very often in the foreseeable future, but I did enjoy it. Only time I don't wear underwear is in bed, it's nice for ventilation in the position I sleep in. When I'm on my period and cramps are really bad I want the least amount of tight fabric constricting that area as possible so at home I just wear loose basketball shorts or a nightgown, in public I wear underwear even though it sucks. Not mine but my dad's. The reason why is I just don't know reason to. He just doesn't. It's just so much more comfortabler. However I do wear underwear when I go out in public. HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch. V equals 75 x 9 shoe. Kramer's got the right idea. It feels more comfortable, all summer long I go loose with it lol. Sometimes it's time to do laundry. Sometimes I wanna feel sexy. Sometimes it's both at once. Because it's more comfortable. I go in between from time to time. I don't like underwear, nor do I like socks. I sweat a lot and it soaks into the fabric. It just makes my travels musky and damp. I'll wear them only when I expect to do rigorous activity. This is to prevent chafing. Before people tell me that I just haven't found the right bear, or should avoid cotton, I am aware of the advice. No wedgies, or the dreaded front wedgie. The veggie. My balls get squished, even in boxes. Plus, a kilt's no fun if you ain't freeballing. Cause it's comfy and I only do it at home. I only wear underwear with dresses, certain pants, i.e. denim, crotch revealing shorts, formal slash work pants, and sometimes to bed if it's Flo's monthly red parade. Other than that, I like the freedom to go commando when I can. It helps save the undies for another booty full day smile but bras can go suck a deek. I only wear sports or bralette and then I choose to free the nips and surprise people when they hug me less than greater than. Hue balls. But seriously, I guess it's because, my thighs don't rub, I hate wedges, I hate having my junk restricted and finally, I'm cheap. So when I was a kid and super geeked out about classic movie actresses I read somewhere that Marilyn Monroe slept naked. I had to try it and damn it was comfortable. Later it was because I have large breasts and am never comfortable in a bra. Same for shoes though. 
shoes and bra are the first things off when I get in the house. The panties just don't make sense to sit around the house, why get extra clothes dirty? I'm not nude, usually in a nightgown or shorts or PJs or whatever. To quote old Archie from Harry Potter, I like a healthy breeze round my privates, thanks. I can be Ari at HE. Freeze my giblets. Keeps it from smelling. Because, why? It lets everything breathe. I first stopped wearing underwear for economic reasons. Then when times got better I realized my butt is so fat that a majority of cuts caused the four cheek silhouette. Now I wear very comfy ones to sleep and go underwearless during the day. On that note, any fat butt ladies out there who can recommend a good brand that won't show panty lines or won't give me a massive wedgie when I walk. Thank <laughs> you.